Hey guys, in this video I want to do a full review of the Nexus 6P. So I've been using this phone for about almost a month now and I just want to share my experience. Uh, I switched from the LG G4. Uh, I don't have it right now. So uh, yeah, I switched from the G4 to the Nexus 6P and uh, it's been an awesome experience. Of course, it's a little bit bigger than the G4, but uh, still not that of a big deal because G4 itself is like 5.5 inch. So let's just start this uh, video. Uh, but first, I want to tell you guys because a lot of people are asking me uh, from where I bought this case. And uh, now this is the official Huawei case. Uh, I'm not pretty sure that uh, I'm not sure that you can get this uh, from a shop or something like that. Uh, it came uh, by. Uh, with the box you know in Pakistan we can't really buy this uh, from the uh, Google store I think it's our country is not in the in the um, sport sportive countries I don't know but uh, you know it, this phone uh, was launched officially I mean it's like the first Nexus phone ever that is launched officially in Pakistan so that's why uh, Huawei they, they did this uh, nice offer where they uh, if you bought this, uh, they gave the the warranty card, and also they gave the free um, case and also the free ear parts, which uh, basically you don't get if you buy it from the Google Store. So I'm just gonna quickly take it off and show you guys how it looks like. So uh, definitely, you have to protect this uh, phone with a case because uh, this aluminum can get scratched up pretty easily, especially from the sides so and you can see here this is how it looks like so and it's it also has this uh, Huawei logo uh, on the side I'm not sure if you can see it uh, let's see here yes this is the Huawei logo so yeah that's the case that I use and you get it by default and you can't really buy it as a, a separately uh, so let's see here now uh, back to the review here now first of all of course uh, this is a gorgeous 5.7 inch display quad HD extremely awesome quality uh, and also fairly nice quality when it comes to sunlight and uh, also if you can see here that uh, in terms of the build quality it's definitely one of the beautiful one of the most beautiful phones ever um, it's very similar to the Mate S in terms of you know how it looks from the back but it does have this uh, hump which uh, a lot of people find it annoying but I think it's uh, nice uh, I, have, I don't have any problem with it uh, but you you have to care you have to be careful because if you drop it and uh, then this will crack up pretty easily uh, while the other parts might get some dent and all that uh, so uh, yeah it's definitely not that much of a durable phone uh, that's what I'm saying so uh, you know I protected it with the case I don't usually uh, use case with my phones uh, I, I don't have case with my Note 5 but I use the case with this one and also I had no issues in terms of bending or something like that uh, no, uh, I had no issue uh, like that. And uh, also, you can see here if we talk about you know overall build quality, it feels very premium, you know. And uh, when you are using it, and when other people see this phone, they really, um, you know, they really ask you. They will ask you which phone you are using. Obviously, this phone is. Uh, I think uh, I have never seen anybody having a Nexus 6P. Uh, mo most people have like Samsung phones uh, here where I live so it's a unique phone for for most people and uh, and it's a big phone and it's it's a big phone for for special people if you have small hands and you might face some problem um, also you can see here uh, it runs pure Android of course the Nexus phone runs pure Android um, it's Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow and ever since I updated to the 6.0.1 Marshmallow it, uh, the battery life went really good and uh, you know it's giving me a lot more time than before uh, it survives up to one day plus easily uh, when I charge it to full and take it out and you know capture selfies um, then uh, you know doing some browsing stuff watching YouTube videos and all that uh, it's just 
so awesome when it comes to battery life and battery life is one of the reasons why i'm using this phone as my main phone now this is a 64 gigabyte variant so this will cost you around 67,000 pkr as of the current price which is 670 dollars uh which i'm uh, pretty sure that uh, uh you know 64 gigabyte is more comfortable uh with the apps you know i mean it can record up to 4k so 4k videos takes up a lot of uh, storage i did record some 4k videos uh the htc 189 water test i recorded that video with my nexus 6p so you can watch that uh, you can see the outdoor video quality and of course i did a lot of speed and camera tests so i'm really uh, overall satisfied by its camera so you know the storage is definitely something that uh is very important if you want to get like full uh, awesome android experience and make sure that you buy a 64 gigabyte variant so as you can see here 35.69 gigabyte is used uh, out of 53.67 so you get around like 53.67 gigabyte storage out of 64 and you can see i do have a lot of apps installed uh, but you can see i still have a lot of memory available i have a lot of music i, I also have a lot of photos and uh, and some 4k videos on my phone so yeah uh, 64 gigabyte is definitely um, more good than 32 gigabyte because on 32 gigabyte you'll get around like 23 gigabyte variant so that's you know that's very low because nowadays each and every game here it takes up to one gigabyte if you install like modern combat 5 gta san area so yes uh, also, of course, with the with the pure Android, you have pure sock Android. You get this uh, Google Now on Tap feature. Uh, this is how the lock screen looks like. This also has the built-in fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone. I haven't tested on any knife test or uh, I haven't done any border tests, so I can't really tell you how much. Uh, doable it's it is in terms of those tests but uh i will do that uh, do, uh, do those tests in the future might do it and uh, you can see here if i go into the about phone section and or 6.0.1 marshmallow and obviously uh this phone has a lot of custom sport available lots of custom roms kernels and all that i've been using the elemental x kernel for some time uh pretty nice kernel uh with in terms of battery life and all that you get some nice features like double tap to wake and sweep to sleep so uh i'm gonna be start i'm gonna start making some custom rom videos also because i've been getting some requests for that for both 6p and the 5x so yeah uh i mean if anyone out there wants like a full uh genuine android experience then definitely uh, give this one a try you must use a, you must have to use a nexus phone at least once in your lifetime to get the full android experience and uh, and of course by stock you don't really get a lot of features as compared to phones like note 5 but you can get a ton of more feature when it comes to you know after you root root it and also if you double tap the power button it will launch the camera camera ui is pretty nice the latest google camera app so if we talk about the camera first of all it has 12.3 megapixel sensor on the back which is pretty damn good dual led flash uh, uh and it's, uh, it's 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 very nice when it comes to low light situation and uh, in both outdoor and low light situation uh, but uh, the thing here is that it doesn't have optical image stabilization so you might get a little bit shaky video uh, also on the front we get five uh, eight megapixel selfie camera which is also one of the reason why i switched from the g4 because the quality of front camera is really nice you get a lot of nice quality of, out of front cameras compared to phones like note 5 uh, it does have a better quality because note 5 will give you like a more like a you know a little bit like artificial type of selfie while this one is more natural so uh, it's just my opinion you know after using it i realized it has a very nice selfie camera front camera sp uh, front speakers are pretty damn good i mean this phone is really built for people who like to use the phone while lying in it on the table like this i i used uh, my phones basically most of the time like this so when i'm doing something so i play music and uh, what happens is that it's uh you know playing music very loudly uh, with no uh, distortion whatsoever because the speakers are on the front they're pretty damn awesome they get some they get dirty uh, but uh, but overall they're nice and also you can see we have USB type C uh, which is also good it has fast charging I mean the default charger is pretty fast it charges up pretty fast so um, yeah I, I don't have any complaint about the Nexus 6B 
I mean, definitely uh, this phone, uh, if I remember correctly, this phone was in the list, was in my list of best phone of 20. Uh, 15 obviously there's no SD card support no removable back but I glad that I spent extra money on uh, the 64 gigabyte variant it's definitely worth it and Huawei's design is just awesome I, I made some videos on the Mate S so I had a uh, pretty nice idea uh, that uh, what type of quality I'm going to get uh, with the Nexus 6P so it's definitely satisfying it's definitely uh, one of the most beautiful phones ever made by Huawei, uh, by Huawei, and of course the but the most beautiful ever Nexus phones. So, yeah, I might do like a what's on my Android video also. So, of course you are familiar with the Marshmallow. There's not a lot, not a lot to talk about in terms of software. Just that it is a lot more optimized. It's a lot more uh optimized to work well with the qualcomm snapdragon 810 chipset with three gigs of ram here that is inside that are inside of this phone extremely top performance no lag whatsoever i haven't seen any lag on the phone uh you know i played a lot of games i i did a gds Andreas max setting gameplay it's just awesome it can handle anything uh, at the top settings because of that Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 chipset no heating issues or anything like that I don't know what Huawei did uh, with the Snapdragon 810 chipset uh, it's just so goddamn amazing you can even overclock this chipset uh, if you install a custom kernel like Elemental X and all that uh, I'm using the stock kernel uh, at the moment uh, but I did try it out Elemental X kernel so uh, no heating up no heating issues or anything like that it's pretty fine and uh, uh, multitasking is just off the charts. Amazing performance. I don't give a shit about benchmarks, to be honest. Uh, if the real life performance is better, then yeah, it's good. And that's amazing on this phone. And uh, and yeah, the battery is around like 3,400 milliampere battery. Like I said, it's just amazing. It survives very nicely up to one day easily. So definitely it's a very good phone to buy. Um, favorite favorite phone currently I'm using it as my main phone I'm gonna continue to use this as my main phone for some time uh, this one month has been very, very awesome uh, I'm gonna be using this phone till we will see like s7 then I might switch you know uh, who knows what uh, we, uh, what Samsung will bring with the s7 so it will be fun I might switch you know I really like big screen phones so I might wait for the Note 6, who knows, but currently 6P is the main boy that I use, so yeah, um, do let me know what you think about this uh, phone, you know, if you have any questions or anything like that, anything you want me to uh, tell you about, uh, just comment down below, and uh, also, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, and I will catch you guys in my next video, peace out.